On this first Sunday of Lent, I'm reminded of a story of a king who loved his people. And each and every day, he would go into the center of town and he would give to those who were truly in need. One day, a beggar came to the king and asked the king for some money. But this was a unique situation. And the king did not give the beggar money, but extended to the beggar an invitation to come to his palace. Everything was arranged, and the beggar approached the palace. But then all of a sudden, the beggar realized what he had on. It was not the finest of clothes, but his clothes were mere rags. So he was embarrassed to enter into the palace. Immediately, the king came out, gave him the necessary clothes, and sent him on his way. But after a few days, the beggar returned to the rags, to those clothes that he was most familiar with. The king approached him and asked him the very simple question, I've given you these new clothes, where are these new clothes? And the beggar simply told the king, I was not comfortable in the clothes that you gave me. That simple story articulates what this season is all about. For the last few days, we have been making decisions as to how this Lenten season would truly be life-changing for us. And some of us have made decisions to abstain from certain foods or from certain behaviors. Others have decided to be people that are more giving, people that truly pray a little more, people that fast from certain behaviors and try to make their lives more wholesome and whole. On this first Sunday of Lent, each and every one of us is remembered by what we're going to do or how we're going to act over these next 40 days. Like Jesus tempted in the desert, we too are tempted. But what we do during these days needs to simply be realistic. Are we able to accomplish what is set forth? Like the man in today's beginning story, we become so comfortable as to who we are and what we do that sometimes change drives us away instead of bringing us closer to the Christ. Whatever we decide to do over these next 40 days should always be prompted by a growth, a growth on this journey, that what we decide to do is simply not going to end once Lent is over, but simply enhancing our lives, making this journey of life even more fuller and even more complete. Our gospel reading ends with the simple words, repent and believe in the gospel. Let us repent for what we have done wrong, but let us truly live the good news.